right? So PMG is another one that's running. Uh, looking at the market cap is $120 million. And again, I mean, if there's projects that are going to, you know, easily do a 10X, uh, 20X or whatever, you know, it's got to be projects with a market cap of a few million dollars. All right, so $120 million market cap. I mean, that that's a perfect project right there. So anyways, uh, let's jump into it. So looking at the trading volume right now, it is $10.7 million. And this is in the last 24 hours, of course. Uh, let's go to the charts and see and see what's going on, right? Because we want to make sure again, uh, the you know the idea is you don't just want you know a move like this one. Uh, what you want is a sustainable uptrend. You know something that's going to be sustainable, uh, something that's going to last. You know that is, per personally that's what I prefer. You know I I don't care about you know how much the project is up in you know in a given day uh what i care about is you know do we actually have a a trend you know that's going to be sustainable because that is where the gains are going to come from you know otherwise you know you just have you know a little 10 percent move here and you know, a little 20 percent move there but you know ultimately uh, it doesn't really mean much you know if the trend is down uh, but PNG looks very interesting and actually very bullish. So I actually analyzed PNG uh, recently. You know, it's been a couple of days, and I I talked about this breakout right here. We did get a retest. You know, a retest of that breakout. Uh, the fact that you know we bounced off you know key moving average, or the fact that when we did get a pullback, you know we didn't come back below this trend line right here is very significant you know this is very significant and this to me you know could be the beginning of something very special so i'm looking at some key targets right here you know 63 dollars this resistance right here you know is going to be a very very key target and if we break above 63 cents uh now hopefully i didn't say 63 dollars so 63 cents and if we break above 63 cents, like we're going straight to 85 cents, you know, those are my short term targets. So we got 63 and then we got 85. If we break above 63 and if we break above 85, yeah, you're looking at a project that's definitely going much, much higher. And we can talk about, you know, what that looks like. So. If we use, you know, some fib extension, let's go from this low, this low right here, all right, up to this top. And if we come back right here, you know, my first target after 85 cents will be somewhere around, you know, $1.83. Cents. That will be my first target. Now, you know, we can play with the fibs and start from down here. All right, if we want to look at the entire bull market targets. So if we start from right here, uh, the first target, you know, we almost hit exactly at the 61.8 target around 19 cents. You know, we will, we only went as high as 16 cents and then we had a pullback to retest uh, the 38.20 fib target. And then we push all the way up to retest the 100 Fibonacci target. I mean, you absolutely cannot make this up. So the next target now, you know, after 85 cents, you know, it's going to be around two dollars and 45 cents. You know, if we if we start the fibs from the absolutely bottom of the bottom of the bear market, but if we started the fibs from the bottom of this pullback. You know, from right here, you know, you're looking at PNG heading somewhere around, you know, a dollar eighty something cents. Right, that is what I'm looking at right now. So, if we start from the lows, starting from the lows right here. All right, we hit this top. Excuse me, hit this top right. Ah, oh, this is bad. Starting from the lows, we hit this top right here. So the next target is yeah somewhere around yeah 161.80 somewhere around there guys. 
So very, very big target. You know, going from eight, uh, going from uh, what's the price right now? Going from fifty-five cents. That's a very big target. So fifty-five all the way up to, yeah. You're basically looking at you know over a two hundred percent move. So that is PNG. Uh, that is PNG. I mean, very bullish. This is a great looking chart right here. I mean, I want you guys to take a look at the daily. This is not. This is not a bearish chart right here, guys. All right. As long as we don't, you know, as long as we don't come back and take out forty-four cents, this is a crazy bullish chart right here. And forty-four cents will, you know, invalidate my bullishness. Uh, but as long as we above, you know, forty-four cents, yeah, you're still looking at a token that goes much, much, much higher from here. So this one is, you know, very different from. Uh, Banky that we just talked about and the reason this is different is because you know PNG is actually in an uptrend on the daily all right like this is the beginning of a potential uptrend you have a high right here you have a higher low uh, we now have a higher high but of course you know we do have some local resistance right here uh, let's take a look at you know another one that is you know on fire so we have a cash you know a cash is up very close to 20% in the last 24 hours. You know, cash has got a market cap of $1.4 billion. Uh, trading volume is, you know, $326 million. That is the trading volume in the last 24 hours. Uh, a cash is one of the most popular projects, you know, in this bull market. So I'm really not surprised. I'm not surprised with the performance. Uh, but let's take a look at the chart. All right, so now this one is actually like super, super, super dope, okay? And the reason this one is super, super dope is because, you know, Akash has basically, you know, gained back the entire loss of this pullback right here. You know, if you look at where Akash is, like we're right here, guys, all right? We are right here. Like, honestly, like we are almost about to get back every single loss, all right, from this pullback right here. So definitely one of the top performers, you know, since the pullback of, you know, the entire cryptocurrency market. What I like about a cash is, you know, this is a true uptrend right here, guys. All right, I want you guys to take a look at, you know, what's actually happening right here. This was the bottom, uh, $3. If you are buying... You know, during these areas right here, and I'm telling you this right here was the 21 weekly retest. So if we go to the 21 weekly, I mean, you absolutely can't make this up. These are times where, you know, you want to be a buyer. So if you got in right here, when a cash was retesting that 21 weekly, you know, that position is up over 60%. And this is, you know, basically only the beginning. You know, to me, this looks like it is only the beginning. But anyways, if we go back to the daily, you know, you can clearly see that we got a beautiful uptrend, you know, that's developing right here. Like this is beautiful right here, guys. This is a higher low. You have another higher low. All right. And then we have a higher high and we have a higher high right here. All right. So my expectation is this, you know, I am looking at a cash going all the way up here. And I'm looking at anywhere between $6.40 all the way up to, you know, $7.15. Uh, this range, basically. I'm looking at this range right here. And if we can break above the range, I mean, a cash is going way, way, way higher, guys. And we can talk about, you know, what that looks like. So if we use the fibs. Uh, let's get some fibs. If we go from these lows, you know, we hit the top right here. Come back down here. Uh, my next target, you know, right here, guys, is going to be somewhere around $11.87. Uh, that will be my first target. Second target, I'm looking at $16.15. Uh, target number three, you know, the uh, the 161.8 fib target. You know, you're looking at $25. Uh, that is a very big move, you know, going from these, uh, going from the current price. So from right here all the way up to uh, 25, that's a 300% move, all right? That is a 300% move. Uh, recently, you guys have heard me talk about, 
minimum, you know, a five to a ten x, you know, going from the lows of the pullback. You know, something like this is exactly what I'm, you know what I'm referring to this entire time. Because if the, if a cash goes to twenty five dollars, you go from the lows of the pullback. That's a seven x, all right? That is a seven x. So you go back to many of my recent live streams where I'm literally, like, literally, literally talking about, you know, buying the dip, talking about taking advantage of this market while it's pulling back. You know, it goes back. You know, it goes back to what we've talked about this entire time. Like this, it goes back to what we talked about this entire time. So a cash to me looks really good. Uh, a confirmation of higher prices, you know, occurs the moment we break above. But we don't just want to break above, of course. But the moment we break above, you know, this entire range right here. Uh, and if we can get a weekly close, you know, especially above seven dollars, like that would be mega bullish. And I also want you to take a look at the weekly MACD. Right? Weekly MACD is about to give us a bullish confirmation. So remember, uh, MACD is extremely reliable, you know, during an uptrend. But when you have a downtrend, excuse me, during a bull market, when you have a bear market, a bullish MACD crossover. It's not really reliable, guys. More likely, you know, you're dealing with a fake out. So make sure you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Uh, but a cash looks incredible.